Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this makeup right here. I recently got the new Kat Von D glitter eyeshadow palette and let me tell you that thing is bomb. I already love Kat Von D shadows and I was so excited when she came out with this because I love her original palette and I wanted some more shimmers to go with it. So I wanted to create this nice dark smoky glamorous eye for you guys today so if you're interested in seeing how to get this look then just keep on watching starting off I'm priming my eyes with my MAC soft ochre paint pot this is gonna prime our eyelids cover up our veins and also give us a nice clean slate to work with so jumping into Kat Von D's original shade and light palette for your eyes I'm gonna be taking this nice banana skin tone color and I'm just going to set that primer just to help our shadows blend and keep from creasing. <laughs> then moving down I'm going to go ahead and take a big fluffy brush and a nice warm light brown eyeshadow and this is just going to help give us a little bit of depth in our crease area and give us some shape to our eyes. And I'm just buffing this, concentrating this mostly on the outer crease and just blending it in. Then going into a richer chocolate brown, I'm taking that on a more condensed fluffy brush and I'm just going to be putting this mostly in my outer V area and dragging it through the crease. And I'm keeping that a little bit smaller than the light brown that we used because we want it to diffuse into one another. This is going to give us that really soft, really blended look. And like I always say, don't go in with too much product at first, you can always build. I love to do that, it makes sure that your eyeshadow will end up soft no matter what. Then hopping into her new palette, and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to be taking the nice bronze shade, and I did wet my brush before this, and I'm using a flat synthetic brush. This is tightly packed, so it's really going to make sure you press on that pigment and not so much move it around. So like you see, what I'm doing here is I'm tapping it and gliding it rather than rubbing my brush back and forth because I want to make sure it's a nice, smooth, even application. And I'm keeping this from corner to corner just on my lid. Then I'm going to buff out the edges with some more of that chocolate brown eyeshadow from before and the same pencil brush. Then going into the color next to the bronze, this is a nice champagne color but it's more bright so a little bit more on the white side and I'm using this to highlight my inner corner and dragging onto my lid area just a wee bit. Then going in with my e.l.f. cream eyeliner, I will be lining both my tight line and my water line today because we are doing a more dramatic look and I am smoking out the liner on my lower lashes. Then for my wings, as always, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liner. And if you guys have not tried this out, you absolutely need to. It's like five bucks and it will be the best five dollars ever spent. It is my holy grail. After I'm done applying my liner, I'm just going to clean up the edge of that wing with some concealer. Then going in with my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara, I'm going to give a good coat to just my top lashes because we still have to put shadow on the bottom lashes. Then for my lashes today, I'm using the same ones that I've been raving about that I got off of eBay and I will put the name in the description box down below so you guys can find it, but they are amazing. They're my new favorites. Jumping back into her matte eyeshadow palette, I'm going in with this matte black and I'm using a very tightly packed, dense smudging brush and I'm going all the way across my lower lashes, keeping it out of the inner tear duct area because I don't want to get any black there because we are putting that highlighter there again, but I'm keeping this nice and close to my lashes to where we smudge out that eyeliner and there's no gap in between. Then going in with a little bit less densely packed brush, I'm going to go over top of that chocolate brown just to smoke out those edges and make it slightly softer, but still keeping that same intensity by my lashes. Then going in with the transition shade we used previously, I'm going in with a little baby fluffy brush. I love this for blending out 
really dark dramatic colors because it gives us a nice seamless edge but this is just going to help it fade out. My goal is not to fade the shadow, just the edges. Then going in with the highlighting color again that we used previously on our tear duct, I'm just going to bring that down a little bit more and blend it into the black color. Then going in and giving a generous coat of mascara to my lower lashes. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my Nivea Meds Aftershave Balm, and this is for sensitive skin, so it is alcohol free, so you don't have to worry about it being drying to your skin, which is great to use on a daily basis. Then going in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and this is in W1, this is the lightest shade. You guys, I'm pale if you didn't notice already, but... <laughs> It is one of my favorites from the drugstore. I highly recommend this to people who normally wear MAC and want a little bit of a cheaper alternative. I think this is very comparable to their Studio Fix. That's just in my opinion though. And I like the wide range of shades that they have as well. Then using my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. This is the same one we used to clean up our wings. I'm just going to be highlighting underneath my eyes in an upside down triangle, down the bridge of my nose and my chin area. This is just going to conceal as well as brighten up those areas. And for right up next to my eyes, I did switch to a smaller brush just to where we wouldn't mess up that shadow and we could get as close as possible. And again, I'm going in and buffing that out just slightly more because I want it to blend in seamlessly with that concealer. Then going in with my Ben Nye Colorless Luxury Powder, I'm just going to set my under eye area and I'm using patting motions instead of rubbing because I don't want the powder to fly everywhere. I want it to be pressed into my concealer to make sure it stays and does not crease or smear anywhere. This is just going to give you the best finish. Then going in with my CoverGirl Loose Powder, this is what I'm going to be using to set the rest of my face. And again, I like to press this into my skin with a powder puff that comes in the container. I think this is great for adding just a touch more coverage. It's going to even out any patchiness that you have, any discoloration that you have that the foundation will not cover. Then going into Kat Von D's Shade and Light Contour Palette, I'm going to be taking the middle shade and a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be bronzing the hollows of my cheek my temples and my jawline just to give us our face some structure and obviously some warmth because I am lacking in that department Then for contouring my face, I'm going to be taking this brush by Moda and the ashier shade in the palette. And I'm just going to be chiseling out my cheekbones and then blending it upwards. Always remember to blend up and never down because you don't want to create a muddiness look on your face. You want to carve out those cheekbones. And then I'm using whatever's left on the brush to carve out the sides and tip of my nose. Then going into my Lorac California Dream palette, I'm going to be taking this nice, soft, pinky mauve color, and I'm just gonna be lightly blending this onto my cheeks. It is a more of a dark color, and obviously I have pale skin, so I go very light-handed on this. Then using my Lunch Money Highlighter by ColourPop. Uh, this highlighter is amazing. If you guys have not tried ColourPop's highlighters, I highly recommend it. I have been obsessed with them recently, and I've been using them non-stop. They're just and I'm highlighting my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and my eyebrow bones, or my brow bones, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and I switched to a little fan brush, my crown as well. I love this for underneath my brows. Then moving on to my lips, I am going to be using my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick, and I believe this is in Desert Suede. Don't hold me to it. I'll put the name in the description box. You know, it's kind of sad because this is my favorite lipstick and I can't remember the name of it. 
Oh well, it'll be in the description box for you guys. Finishing off this look, I'm just going to be setting my face with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And you guys are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. As well as let me know in the comments below what else you guys want to see. I'm planning on doing a lot more looks with this palette. I'm just so excited about this palette. I love it so much. Um, you guys need to go get it if you have not already if I didn't say that about 50 million times by now, but um, make sure you follow me on all of my social media. I have Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat just to stay up to date with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support me and also keep up to date on all of my newest videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!